Hello friends, I'm proud to share an animation with you that was created by Ozloop Media Production. The production quality is insane. Excuse my raspy voice, my voice box is broken. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below and I hope you enjoy the video. Why did Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki sell over 26 million copies worldwide? In today's 10 minute video, you'll learn more about becoming rich than you ever will taking a four year finance degree. So strap on your seatbelt and make sure to watch the video to the very end. Lesson one, the rich don't work for money, money works for them. Three years ago, I worked at a trading card shop in the city. Now that job was fantastic, I loved it. I got paid $17 an hour for having a blast running Yu-Gi-Oh card tournaments. But let's look at this from a rich person's viewpoint. Even if I worked for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, my weekly income would cap out at $2,856. To make a million dollars, I would have to work for 2,451 days or about seven years without sleeping or spending a penny. And this doesn't even account for inflation, taxes, public holidays, or faking a sicky. <laughs> this is an example of working for money, but the rich don't work for money. I was making my boss rich because he discovered the secret of making money work for him. You see, whilst I was doing the hard work as an employee, my boss would kick back, relax, and travel the world whilst his trading card business rolled in the Benjamins. This ties in with the next lesson. The rich acquire assets. Think about it. My boss paid me $119 per day, but the money he was profiting from my work exceeded that. Participants had to pay a registration fee to enter the competition and they often bought products from the shop. My boss also owned a $1,000 arcade machine. Every time someone busted out $1 and playing that frustrating claw game, he'd make money in his sleep. Why? Well, assuming 1,000 people put in $1, he would make $1,000, right? That covers the cost of the machine itself. So every time after that, someone puts in $1, he makes $1 profit. And the machine just sits there out the front of the store as people walk by and put money in. And I was the one putting it out the front and rolling it back into the store every Saturday. Man, my boss was smart. Arcade machines are perfect examples of assets. Rich people develop and acquire more assets and reduce liabilities. Assets put money in your pocket and liabilities take money out of your pocket. Assets make money work for you. The different types of assets you can acquire are abundant. Rental homes, ebooks, businesses, stocks, monetized YouTube videos, etc. So if you truly want to get rich, consider spending less money on mundane pleasures like trading cards, marijuana, or alcohol. Invest your money into assets instead. Invest the money your assets make into more assets and you'll become richer than you've ever imagined. Lesson three, taxes and the power of corporations. Now this one sounds boring, but bear with me. Employees earn and get taxed and try to live on what's left over. For example, if Bob the Builder earns $5,000 a month, 25% of that, or $1,250, will be taken by the tax man before Bob can use the remaining $3,750 to pay his living expenses. But corporations can pay expenses before being taxed. A corporation spends everything it can and is taxed on anything that is left. So why is this an advantage? Well, imagine Bob formed his own limited liability company and earned the same $5,000 as a company rather than an individual. Because of the legal loopholes, he would be able to reinvest that extra $1,250 back into his business before the tax man could get his hands on it. Maybe he could hire an extra employee or buy a vending machine. He could also take a vacation to Hawaii and treat it as a business trip expense. I know someone who runs their own business and gets tax deductions on the food he eats. Robert tells us it's not hard to set up a company. Many people think of giant skyscrapers with hundreds of workers. Well, at least I did. But you can set up a private company in the US with just one person and $100. Lesson four, increase your financial intelligence. It's made up of four skills. Accounting, the ability to read numbers. Investing, the science of making money. Understanding markets, the science of supply and demand, and the law, the awareness of accounting, corporate, state, and federal regulations. Robert's online game Cashflow is an excellent way to start increasing your financial intelligence right now. <laughs> it's frustrating at first, it is frustrating, but you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Lesson five, don't work for money, work to learn. Robert interviewed a female writer. Let's give her a really generic name like Sally. Robert said, 
You have a great style. What holds you back from achieving your dream? My work does not seem to go anywhere, Sally said quietly. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, I do, Robert said brightly. I have a friend here in Singapore that trains people to sell. Are you saying I should learn to sell? Robert nodded. She blew up. She went off her tree. I have a master's degree in English literature. Why would I go to school to learn to be a salesperson? I hate salespeople. All they want is money. As she was storming off, Robert pointed to his best-selling book on the table. What? She screamed. It says best-selling author, not best writing author. You are a great writer. I went to sales school. You have a master's degree. Put them together <laughs> and you get a best-selling author and a best writing author. Sally got angrier and stormed out. But Robert was giving her a million dollar lesson. Robert is constantly shocked how little talented people earn. He's met highly educated people that earn less than 20k a year. Often people are one skill away from wealth just like Sally was and have huge potential to increase their income exponentially. It doesn't matter how hard you work, if you're not willing to work to learn a new skill, even if you have to work for free, then your income potential will remain low. Lesson six, five obstacles holding you back. Number one, fear. People are loss averse. We're more afraid of losing something than gaining something. This is why you see blog posts titled five reasons you're not making money instead of five ways to make money. Imagine I flip a coin. If it's heads, I'll give you $200. If it's tails, you give me $100. Most people don't take this deal, even though it makes economic sense to do so. Rich people understand loss aversion and take controlled risks. Two, cynicism. We all have doubts. What if I can't pay the money back? What if the things don't go as planned? What if the stock market crashes after I invest? Rich people understand that happens. They identify profitable opportunities that cynics miss. Three, laziness. To overcome this obstacle, you need to be a little greedy. Mummy always told us that greedy people are bad people, yet we all have a deep desire to have new or exciting things. Ask yourself, what would I do if I had all the money I ever needed? Without that little greed, progress will not be made. Four, bad habits. Our lives are a reflection of our habits more than education. Robert has a habit of paying himself first before paying the bills. What if he doesn't have enough money to pay the bills? He still pays himself first. He uses the pressure as motivation to seek other forms of income. And lastly, arrogance. There are countless people in the world of money, finance and investments who have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. When you know you're ignorant, start educating yourself. Robert says, what I know makes money, what I don't know loses me money. <laughs> That's why the humble millionaire John Chow spent 15 grand to go to a seminar. The education he received at the seminar helped him make $1 million. Rich people play to win, poor people play not to lose. Lesson seven. Nine final tips for wealth. The biggest asset you have is your mind. Invest in it. Failure inspires winners and defeats losers. Surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. Listening is more important than talking. Profits are made when you buy, not sell. It's rare that the asking price is lower than something is worth. When aiming to become rich, find a higher reason than just doing it for the money. There is gold everywhere. Most people are not trained to see it. And nine, saying I can't afford it shuts down your brain. Asking how can I afford it opens up your mind and triggers your creativity to find a way. Now this mentality helped me make the decision to drop out of university and book a plane ticket to Thailand. By asking how I can afford world travel, I've discovered that I can get free accommodation through sites like Couchsurfing, Warm Showers, Mind My House and Woof International. If I listed every way I've come up with to afford world travel, this video would never end. Now for a bonus lesson, real life application. I thought it'd be valuable to share more on how I've applied Robert's lessons to change my life and give you some ideas. Last year, I invested money into an index fund. Essentially, my money is invested into every company on the stock market. I get paid dividends every three months, which I use to reinvest into other assets, like eBooks. Last year, I published seven eBooks on Amazon.com. I haven't touched them in six months and they're still making money. YouTube ads also generate money for me. The videos I upload get viewed even when I'm sleeping, and when a viewer like you interacts with an ad, I get paid. Patreon is another platform I use where fans support me with donations. I'd like to publicly thank Morton for being my first supporter. I jumped up and down like a madman when I found out, so thanks dude. 
And lastly, I have affiliate links to the books I summarize in the description below. When someone clicks the link and buys the book, I make a small commission from Amazon at no additional cost to the buyer. So if you're interested in grabbing a copy of this book, I'd appreciate it if you use the link below. Cheers! Let's review the seven lessons we covered in this video. The rich don't work for money, money works for them. The rich acquire assets. Taxes and the power of corporations. Increase your financial intelligence, which is made up of accounting, investing, understanding markets and the law. Don't work for money, work to learn. Five obstacles holding you back are fear, cynicism, laziness, bad habits and arrogance. Nine tips for wealth and how I've applied Robert's lessons to my life. In the next video, we will decode a children's book to see what powerful lessons are hiding inside.